Hey guys, welcome back to the Linux Essential series for hackers. Uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about creating archives. So, you know, creating tar files, tar.gzip files, and then extracting them. So just how to manage and maintain the various archives you will be creating. Now, there are many reasons to create archives on Linux. Of course, one of the reasons is it uh, saves space. Uh, you can, if you're taking backups of particular directories, uh, it's great to have an autom uh, an automated script to to actually uh, automate the process of archiving the files. Uh, that's something that you can take a look at with my shell scripting series. Uh, the link to that will be in the description section if you're interested in learning some shell scripting. Uh, but let's get started with this video. So uh, the tool we're going to be using is the tar tool. Now tar is an archiving utility as you can see here. And again, if we, t if we take a look at the man pages for this particular tool, uh, it gives you the various options that you can use, you know, in regards to creating uh, archives, uh, comparing them, deleting them, etc. So there's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, the purpose of this video is to show you uh, or to and to explain to you how to create, uh, how to create archives, uh, how they differ in terms of the extension, and of course, how to extract the various archives that, uh, that, that you'll come across. All right, so... Uh, on my desktop, what I've done is um, I've created a simple directory here. Uh, let me just uh, remove this uh, uh, this directory right over here. Um, there we are. And uh, so I created a directory called file. And uh, within this directory, uh, you can see that I've created a, uh, a test.txt file that contains uh, the contents of the password file. So just a random file that you know you may want to uh, you may want to archive or random directory that you you may want to archive. So if I wanted to create a tar archive of this uh, file directory, what I would do is I would say tar, and then I would uh, specify um, you know some arguments here uh, in in regards to what I want tar to do. So first of all, I would want tar to compress the file, um, and then of course I want uh, I wanted to compress this file so we're specifying the file um, now after this we specify the name of the archive that we want to give it so we'll just call it file uh, dot tar this is different than a tar.gz uh, archive and i'll explain how that differs shortly so then we specify the the directory that we want to actually archive and we hit enter and uh, there you are so you can see it created uh, the tar file for us and of course if we type in um, file and file dot tar you can see it tells you that this is a uh, tar archive, uh, GNU tar archive here. So that means it was it worked correctly. Now um, let me remove this uh, this tar archive here. And if we run the same command uh, that we did, uh, sorry about that. Let me just um, let me let's do it one more time. So we can say tar. Uh, we can also use the uh, the v command, and that will give us some verbose output in regards to what files are currently being processed. Uh, you know, in the overall archiving uh, process. So again, we can say tar cvf, and then we say tar, uh, we can just say file.tar, um, file.tar, and then we specify the directory and we hit enter. And as you can see, it then uh, gives you a verbose output and we get the tar, the file.tar archive here. So um, if we want to uh, extract a tar archive, that's a very, very simple thing to do. All we need to do is we say tar, um, tar and now that we want to extract it we use the x command uh, by the way you can you can negate or uh, not use the hyphen here uh, but I personally like using the hyphen just so that I understand where my syntax is going so I can say extract and we can verbose uh, you know we can have some verbose output um, and we say extract um, the file and then we specify the file so we say file.tar and then uh, we can provide an output for it or you can just hit enter and it uh, you know it extracts it for us and because we already have the file here uh, it will essentially overwrite the uh, the newer files if they if there are any new changes etc so we can uh, we can remove this directory and do that one more time here so we can say tar xvf uh, file.tar and we hit enter now if we list this you can see that we have uh, the file directory here all right, excellent. So that's uh, working with tar uh, files, and that's you know a standard tar, uh, a, a tar file here. Uh, now let's talk about gzip files. So if I say what is uh, gzip, and uh, you can do this with tar I, again. Uh, it's a very very simple. You, and that's the preferred way of doing it. So uh, let's take the um, the same, or we can just remove the file.tar here. So let's take the same. 
uh, file directory here and uh, if we want to now use the uh, or co compress it into a tar or gzip file um, using gzip of course then we would say uh, tar uh, now we are compressing it so we say czf or cz cvzf or czvf whatever you want to use in our case we d we don't want to work or we don't want to display uh, you know some uh, the verbose output so we can just use the czf and then we specify um, we specify the name so we're going to say file dot tar dot gz and uh, then we specify the directory that we want to archive or compress and we hit enter and uh, you can now see that we created the tar.gz file here so if we type in file and then you know just to find out what we're dealing with the ui tells you we're dealing with a gzip uh, compressed data um, so again we can extract it really simply by saying tar um, tar xzf xzf and then we say file dot tar dot gz but uh, before we do this uh, let's remove uh, let's remove uh, the actual file directory here so we say tar xzf and then we say file.tar.gz and we hit enter and it'll then give us the file directory which is right over here so again we can cut the contents just to show you that it's worked just fine um, you can see that it's the entire content of the password file so that's pretty much how to work with archives i'm not going to be covering the various other utilities that you can use uh, so for example bzip2 which is again very simple use uh, in regards to using bzip2 for compression i wanted to show you how to use the tar uh, the tar utility for archiving files archiving them and then of course extracting them so it's the most reliable and consistent way of uh, working with archives on linux and it's great for you know taking backups and with the help of uh, shell scripts you can easily automate the process so that's going to be it for this video and uh, i'll be seeing you in the next video